what's good y'all so first of all when y'all heard this it's gonna be thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving if you don't celebrate thanksgiving i don't know eat ass but um i'm watching so luminati video i want to speak on two things we got a little bit of shit to talk about so i'm watching so luminati video a 2k video he uploaded and he basically saying a lot of the same shit i said you don't want to be a slave y'all are slaves to 2k Y'all are, you know what I'm saying, 2K using y'all, 2K this, 2K that. Y'all, They basically got it to where y'all depend on them. Y'all scared to upload other content. And I basically agree with that. But the reasons he says the game is terrible is the same reason all YouTubers say it. And it's the wrong reason. He said, fire the developers. It's not the developers. I don't know how many times I got to say that shit. It's not the developer. It's not because you spoke about the developers and you spoke about some badge glitches. That's all you talked about. That's not why this game is bad. You talked about some badge glitches, some 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 other type glitch, and I don't know what else. That's just basically it. But you call the game is terrible and horrible. They don't give a fuck about that. And all y'all YouTubers are smart enough to know what the issue is. The issue is this company is too fucking greedy. I'm trying not to yell. But they too fucking greedy. It's not the developers. Do you know how good this game would be if the developers weren't bogged down to have to worry about how we gonna fit in microtransactions, how we gonna fit in this, how we gonna fit in that? Just last year, they put an unskippable ad about a about a, a show about a fucking drug dealer in a game that's rated E for everyone. This company is willing to whore it, whore itself out at a fucking whim. This is a whore of a company. It's not the developers. It's it's the willingness and upper management to sell themselves out. That they willing to advertise something like that. And it receives such horrible backlash that it's not in this game. But I guarantee you, this is not the last time we've seen of an unskippable ad. It's not the end of it. Unskippable ads and you still try... Charge us $50 to. This is not what I came here to talk about. I just came here to talk about if you're going to call out 2K, please call it out on what everybody knows. Every every time you look on every single site that has a user score and 2K got like a two or one point something user score out of the first 10 selections, eight of them going to be microtransactions. Microtransactions, too expensive microtransactions. Can't play my team, it's microtransactions. The grind, the grind, the grind. This and this and that. That's that's because this company is too fucking greedy. Right now, y'all looking at some horrible fucking um, Call of Duty Zombies gameplay. But y'all gonna have to burn through it and laugh at it. But this shit is, but this shit is crazy. If you gonna call it out, call it out because ain't shit gonna change. Until we say, hey, these microtransactions it are is getting in the way. It don't matter what they can bring in the best developers ever. They're gonna jam so many more microtransactions, so many more ads. This 2K whores itself out to any any sponsor, any advertiser. They had a fucking show about a fucking unskippable ad about a drug dealer in a game that's rated E for everyone. I don't get it. That shows you what this company is all about. Okay. Now that I finish with that, and I might go back to that. Let me address Ash. I seen this and I seen the Ash the same reason the same way everybody see Ash. Looking at your rage. So I'm seeing what she doing. Starting this fucking, I don't know, page where you just thought yourself out and shit like that. Um, post it because the pictures is already on Reddit. Pictures of your ass out, picture twerking and all this crazy shit. So this is what I want to say. I've been asked multiple times to be on a team with people that didn't have a didn't have like an insane amount of subscribers, but had a good amount of subscribers. I won't say the person, the people actually, but multiple times. 
multiple times. I've said no. Certain things that I know I can do to get subscribers, I've not done. And this is why. You got to do this now. You spent so much time eating off So Luminati's plate. Now that he won't let you eat off his plate no more, you don't know what to do. So you've resorted from doing spiritual videos to this. Because you know why? As soon as you got some subscribers, as soon as the checks got bigger, you abandoned your fan base. The people who watched you when you didn't even know So Luminati, you abandoned them. Now that his fans have left and you all on your own now, now this is what you're doing to make, I guess, as much money as you're trying to make from when you was with him. This should be a lesson to everybody. Get it on your own. Stand on your own two fucking feet. Please. Don't let no body like if you thinking about you doing youtube and don't let nobody fucking do that to you bruh nobody if you not if if what you doing on your page is not perfectly lined up with what they doing on their page it's no fucking point it's no point you did all this shit all this goofy shit. This nigga done disrespected you from the beginning. And I can't even blame the nigga. I mean, look, you accept the shit. All that shit. And now you resort to showing your ass, twerking, doing all this shit. And it ain't even a fact. It ain't even a fact that you doing that. It's the fact that everybody knows why you doing it. Everybody knows why you doing it. Everybody know that. I see all y'all women. Y'all be, bruh, I be looking at y'all hoes channels, bruh. And I'm not calling Ash a hoe, but I'm just saying just period. I be looking at y'all channels and y'all be uploading all type of outfit hauls and, and, and swimsuit hauls and all this type of shit. And then y'all get with a YouTuber and y'all reacting to fucking 1v1s. Y'all reacting to all this other shit. 2K fucking montages. Playing 2K. Don't even know how to hold the fucking controller. And then when y'all break up with the nigga, now you don't have nothing to even show for it. I just had to speak on that, bro, because I, bro, I got I to gotta get this shit on my own. Hell no. I can't be left out there like that. That's just like with flight. Now I understand flight. That shit might be entertainment. And he might have told them, hey, if I yell at you or scream at you and say it's your fault, don't trip. It's just for entertainment. They going to roast me in the comments anyway. I'm good. Now I understand that because it's flight. But you got to understand a lot of YouTubers talk to their teammates like that and be dead fucking serious. You know Why? Because the people that's playing with them, let them do that shit. Because they know they're going to get clout and subscribers. Maybe. Maybe. You can't take shortcuts in this shit, bruh. You can't. All you're going to experience is, is, is momentary success. I don't even know if that's the right temporary success. Momentary. What the fuck? Temporary success. If you don't do this shit the way it's supposed to be done, you only gonna experience temporary success. I can't I can't ever be on a team with nobody until I get big because I can't have nobody talk to me any type of way. I can't do it. It's it's a bunch, and I won't call out nobody else's name. It's it's a bunch of people. I'll be like, dude. Like you haven't even, just like the motherfucker with um, Tosino, the dude Zerenic or something, they call him Z. This nigga got 23,000 subs, ain't uploaded shit for real. Last time I checked. But that temporary success, because when you don't grind for your shit, and I'm not saying collabs is bad, 
if a motherfucker introduce you to do a collab, you definitely should take it. Especially if y'all like the same things or do the same things. But for no amount of nothing am I finna be a, somebody flunky. That's just not gonna fucking happen. That's not gonna happen. It's not. So, I hope you stop. I hope that she don't keep doing that shit. I hope that she... As a matter of fact, I, I, I clicked on this shit. And it's $25. First of all, 25 you do know it's bitches that do porn that look just as good as you, right? And they 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 are doing porn. They're not just taking pictures and twerking. Like what the hell are you doing? Boy, 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 boy. You better start reacting to some videos. You better start doing any like do something. But that shit just made me realize that I made the right decision by saying no. And not because my situation is going to be exactly like hers, but my situation, but the situation is she didn't grind to get where she was. So she got the subscribers, but the motherfuckers ain't watching no more. So when the views left, now you used to having to do this. You was crying on, online, talking about, you talking about you don't want to get have to get a job. You was doing all this type of shit like, bruh, You got it. You cannot eat off some nobody else plate. It don't matter how much you think that motherfucker love you. How much you cannot eat off their plate. Eventually, they gonna stop it. And one and one and once they stop you from eating off their plate, what's gonna happen? You gonna go hungry. Not because it ain't no food left. Because you don't know how to cook. You don't know how to put the shit on the plate. You don't know how to make your own plate. You don't know how to make your own food. So it's food right there in front of your fucking face. But you don't know what to do with it. You don't know what to fucking do with it. But this video about to this video about to run out, about to be over with. I just wanted to speak on that. I'll fuck with y'all, man. I fuck with y'all. And I'm I, I'm I'm gonna get this shit out the mud. And y'all gonna see me when I get big, and I'm not gonna forget y'all. Peace.